Hi everyone, it's Paola. Welcome back to my channel, Art and Graphic Design. I tell you over time, guys, why I haven't caught on yet. <laughs> um, also subscribe if you're new here and you never caught on. Um, please subscribe. So welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about my portfolio. And I, I know that you guys love portfolio videos and I love portfolio videos because there's always so many different things that you can do with your design portfolio. And so I'm always here to help, give a new idea, give some tips help you out with your portfolio if you're in that position. So today's video, Behance. Um, this is not sponsored. I do work with Adobe, but I love Behance in general. And I didn't really love it until I made a video about it, like how to upload on here. And then I fell in love. It really is a great place to showcase your work, especially if you don't have a website. My website currently is like under construction. I want to revamp the entire thing. And you can still like contact me on there and everything for business stuff. But my work, majority of my work, I'm kind of transitioning over to Behance. Okay, so here is my Behance. My Behance page is kind of working as my portfolio right now, as I said. And this is the main project that I did initially. And it was the only project I had up on Behance for a while where I made a video on how to upload to Behance. So this is the project and it has gotten quite a few eyes on it and it was featured in illustrator and featured in branding on the pages so that's like a really cool way that behance shows off that you've kind of like done something good done a cool project and that's a really cool thing for your career so i like that it has that on behance um but this is the project if you haven't seen it so it's really big photos so that you can kind of scroll and see them like as you scroll then this is just a text box and then more of the pictures and if you don't want these white gaps you can basically make one giant picture which i'll show you my file how like how my files look when i upload to behance um in a second but then if you upload separate photos there will be like a little bit of a white border and you can change how big that is. Um, so yeah, it's super simple and I really do attest how I did it to why it was then featured on Behance. Um, so how I uploaded it and kind of put it together and made it look like a very cohesive branding project. I just think it looked a lot more professional than just uploading like picture, 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 you know, so I kind of went with a narrative and went with a story here. So that is this branding. And if you want to see it, I did a whole video series on creating all the elements of this brand and packaging design and all that. So yeah, definitely check that out. I mean, that was ages ago now, but that's the project. And then I recently uploaded some new things. So let's talk about kind of the updated Behance portfolio vibe and what I'm doing now to make it what it is. So for this project, this is a branding project, a new state of being for an actual client. So what I did is I went with branding photos. So if you have a client, you can use their assets, anything that they have that you're allowed to use, you know, like photos and stuff that they've had in the brand. Um, for this client, she did not have her branding like set up and I kind of helped create all that. So I also went to Adobe stock and found some photos that I could use and it works. Like I found some photos of similar things to the brand and similar things to what she does. So I found these two first photos on Adobe stock and I think it looks really good. So yeah, definitely utilize like free photos, copyright free. Um, these two photos I put in here as kind of brand assets. So they, they go with the vibe of the brand and the aesthetic of, you know, the direction of the brand, but they're not the branding. I just put them in to create a cohesive storyline. And then I have this here and I have a little video of like the homepage of the website. And I just think that this makes a world of a difference and makes it look a lot more professional than just logo 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 because that's what i created but i created a storyline to present into more my portfolio and i think that really comes across here especially with like these photos of you know someone actually getting like a facial massage which is what the brand is for now this one is a travel guide that i made it was just a passion project i made it a few years ago now like 2018 so yeah a while ago and i made this little series of photos to kind of show the spreads of this magazine. And then I showed it actual like in pages um, in a mock-up and I have it, a I have it printed, but sometimes the mock-ups do make it look a bit more professional just cause I've put it into like a photo instead of taking pictures myself. It just makes it look seamless. And I like that more. Again, with that cohesive story branding for Behance, I did this little boutique hotel and I made a video about it. It was like a mock-up project I did. And so I added it in here because it definitely had a storyline, you know, and it had a lot of elements to the brand. I did bring in some more photos from Adobe stock for this, like this drink where there's no branding in it, but it does 
encapsulate the feel of the brand overall and i think it just really adds to it to showcase this whole this whole brand and aesthetic so let me show you one of my files so this is the columbia travel guide file that i uploaded into behance so this is how to do it i know i've like talked about that before how to actually upload and it is really simple it's just gonna be like image by image but it's all about the width so the width is 1400 so that's 1400 pixels and behance tells you like the best uploading so that's the width so that there's nothing on the sides like it goes straight to the edges 1400 and then i just make it whatever size vertically because you can kind of play around with that and then like have it so you can scroll through and it's a really big photo depending on how long it is you know so here is the first photo from the columbia travel guide this is 1400 across and then 1080 height so that's a good one if you don't want it to be like super big and like scrolling through that's a really good size to stick to for pixels and then this one was just kind of the same like a similar vibe but then for this one where I had all the pages out, I made it one longer cohesive picture so that it didn't have any break. And you know, that's like up to you what you want it to look like. But like I said, this is kind of the standard. So 1400 pixels across and then just start playing around with what you want for image size, what fits there, you know, I mean, I dragged in all these images separately and I kind of resized based on like how I wanted them to look. So it's really up to you. But like I said, it's so simple to upload to Behance. Like these all I just exported as images. So this is like my Illustrator file where I brought in all my images and made them all like similar sizes, all with the same width. And then heights, like I said, play around and figure out what you like so it can like scroll and look really pretty. So then back to Behance, once you export those as PNGs, JPEGs, whatever, all you need to do is share your work and upload a project and then go straight into images and photo grids, text, um, photo grids will show like an arrow and you'll scroll through. Images will just be one static image and you just have to scroll through the whole thing and then text boxes in between that can really help. Um, it'll make it look really good and really cohesive. So like if I hit image and I come into here and upload one of my images from the Behance project that I already have, even though this is already done. But if I come in here and upload it, it'll just come in perfectly to the edges and be ready to go. Like it's already looking so good just like that. Again, you just start adding from here, like down at the bottom, media, text, whatever. And then you can also view as a preview and it'll show you what your project is going to look like and see that's like the perfect size for me, the 1080 kind of size. And then it's not a lot of scrolling and it's just chef's kiss. Okay, everyone, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. It really helps my channel when you guys like like and comment and engage with me. Um, my, my videos are not getting that many views anymore. It's, it's definitely gone down. And I wanna know if that's like less interest in the topics or if it is just like YouTube's algorithm. I'm not sure, but yeah. Show support if you support me. Um, Patreon, I have changed the tiers. There are a few different things on there and you get like exclusive videos and stuff now. So check that out and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye. I'm literally being blinded by how bright it is in here and I'm just pretending that everything is fine. It's so bright in here today. We don't know why. And I'm just like, hey guys. How's it going? And <laughs> now my eyes are burning. <laughs> okay. Peace and love, peace and love.